Hello everyone. Welcome to Mayo Programming Club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code challenge. And the challenge name is Link List Cycle. So you are given a head of a link list. You have to determine whether there exists a cycle in the link list or not. So Next pointer of your last node will be connected to if there exists a cycle. Uh, some node in the link list can be reached again by the continuously flowing uh, following the next pointer. Internally, position is used to denote the index of the node uh, that tells next pointer is connected. Uh, to note that position is not passed as a parameter. You have to return simply true if there exists a cycle or false if there does not exist a cycle. So you have to check uh, the cycle is existing in the linked list or not. So let's consider two scenarios. First scenario in which the linked list is not having a cycle. Pointers, one is fast. Uh, as the name suggests, it is moving fast. And another is slow. As the name suggests, it will be moving slow. The first pointer will be moving two positions in a single go and slow pointer will be moving a single position in a one go and we will uh, be iterating till first pointer is not equal to null and Since fast pointer will be jumping two positions, so fast next should not be equal to null also. So there should be at least two nodes, uh, one extra node. So as you can see here, if fast will be pointing to at this location, once it has moved two steps forward, then fast next will be null. As soon as fast ne next uh, happens to be null, we will terminate the loop. And if that's not the case, then we will keep on moving. So fast will be moving like this. Fast will be fast dot next dot next. And slow will be only slow dot next. So you can have a dry run and check. So uh, here your loop condition will terminate. Also, let's consider a case that a loop was present in the list. Let's consider a case separately. Let me quickly form a new link list. One, two, three. Then let's say it's connected to two. Now your fast pointer will be initially pointing to head. Flow will also be pointing to head. Fast will be moving like this. Then two positions. Your slow will be moving like this. Single position, single position. Now your fast pointer will be kindly pointing to this node, and your slow one will be at this node. Now fast will move two positions ahead. 
uh, which will be four will be moving one po position ahead which is also fourth node as you can see both of the pointers are pointing at the same node both pointers will say references point to the same node then we can say that uh, the cycle exists so another condition will be added up here if after uh, doing these steps uh, slow happens to be equal to fast you will return to that we will be our approach and what will be the time complexity of running this approach it will be order of of n and the space complexity will be order of one since we are not using extra space coding part is quite simple as you can see uh, in the constraints there can be a case that there is no node in the link list in that case you will return false otherwise both of the uh, let me quickly write also uh, if there is no node in the list then simply return false and initially both of the pointers and slow pointers references or say pointers will be at head of link list and after they have moved a certain number of times if there is is where them are pointing at the same node in the link list then a uh, cycle is existing Otherwise, if the loop terminates, then return false. So let's try to submit it. As you can see, it's getting accepted. So the code will be available in both of the languages C plus plus and Java. I hope you are able to understand the approach and the solution. So if you are still having any doubts or queries, please feel free to ask them in the comment section of the video. So thank you for watching. Thanks.